Hey guys, what up, what up? It's Felix here again. So, um, yep, today I'm gonna do a review about Kevin. So, Kevin is uh, one of the five star base characters that has been released in the Japanese version of the game. And uh, yeah, he's actually one of the top chain finishers. Um, he's rated 96 currently in Ultima.jp. And he's like one point below Cloud and Randy, which is the top chain finishers at the moment. And he's on par with both your and fire Feritas. right so uh, i'm just gonna before we start we got i'm uh, just gonna head on on to ultima.jp right right so i'm gonna go here so uh, before we start so we got we got a few characters that has just been released so kevin lee's hawkeye is a five star characters right and charlotte is the only four to six stars so um, yeah, Kevin is pretty much rated the highest here among all of these three. And um, Hawkeye is actually pretty good, I'd say, because uh, he actually can chain and he also can chain finish with every element. He, and he also can chain and then he can reduce every elemental resistance by 50%, like from fire, water, earth, wind, you know, light and dark, whatever, thunder, lightning, blizzard, you know, everything. It's pretty awesome, guys. But you know why he got so low? Because... Uh, his 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 firepower is kind of low, so he cannot do real damage, like heavy damage, which impacts you know the difficulty of the bosses, right? And then um, yeah, Kevin is actually only one point rated lower than Randy, and here's why I think. First, Kevin is actually pretty weak, you know, like he he has very low defense, very low spirit. So if you don't have Ramza, you know, in your team, then if you don't have a defense buff, then he's done for. At least for now. Alright, so uh, let's go over Kevin's abilities. So, one of his noticeable abilities here is he can attack and recover MP at the same time. So, recover. Uh, he can recover every ally's MP, you know, like by 20, by just attacking. And he also, this aura wave here right now, it also can increase the amount of the limit burst stone that your ally can get. But it's only one ally, so he only can cast this into one person, and that one person only that one person get the effect of this. And uh, I think it's very essential for Riku, right? I think it's one of the best skills for Riku. So, and then he got his AOE attack, which is called Whirlwind Fit, which is uh, increase your physical. I mean, like it is an AOE damage, one hundred eighty percent damage, and he has got auto refresh, and he has got fifty percent increase uh, attack when he equip a fist so this is uh, his weapon his best weapon choice is obviously Algayond trial weapon which is 145 attack fist here and then a fist mastery right 50% increase to attack at the same time and then this is also impressive this this is this is where it gets impressive guys so when you do not equip him with any weapon he got a 200% attack boost so it's crazy it's crazy so you can get up to like about 590 attack uh when he's not equipped with any weapon so he's naked so probably 600 attack <laughs> because his base attack is about 190 right 190 is his base attack when fully potted and then he got you know all our other stuff then it will increase like by three folds maybe like yeah close to 600 attack and then um he got 30 percent attack passive and then just now, as I said uh, earlier, he can attack and also recover every of your allies' MP by 20 only. And he's got magical power by 20%. I don't understand what this for because he's, he deals mostly physical damage, right? So he, he didn't deal any uh, magical damage. So yeah, maybe I'll find out later. And also when each HP drops below 40% and below, it will increase his attack and uh, attack. DPS to demon by 60% which is huge guys so he's like probably the best demon killer out there and he's got HP plus 30% passive so to make sure that he did not die you know easily and he got blow impact so this is the cream of the crop of his skill so it is uh, 330% physical damage and also 25% defense ignore which translates to about 490% total damage which is slightly lower than clouds Cloud is 270% uh, and 50% ignore defense, so it's which uh, it will translate into 540% to 550%. So it's around there. 
So it's like maybe a five fifty percent damage difference, which is not a lot. And this is his best skill in my opinion. Is is beasting. Beasting is a passive and it will activate when your enemy hits you. It's and the probability of it activating is only twenty percent, which is kinda low. But if you manage to activate this ability, he can get access to one of the most powerful skills ever. This is a berry to back and it will deal 1037% mod damage guys. So it can be used every time for two turns. It's insane. This is insane, man. This is crazy. It's like probably the most powerful skill, you know. And <coughs> yeah, and his limit burst is also damage to all enemies and it will increase from 800, 880% to 1000% max damage if you use the burst spots. And yeah, and also beasting passive also gives you attack plus 110%, which is crazy, which is higher than anything, any buff that you can ever find except for Roy buff, yeah? I think Roy gives 110% to everything and uh, Ramsa only gives 100, 100%, so. And his trust master, trust master is, will increase 3% when you're equipped with fist and 30%, not 30% when you when you're equipped with uh, light clothes. So clothes. So you cannot wear heavy armor or light armor. You have to equip clothes, which is the lowest defense of all armors, which is a uh, you know kind of at a disadvantage there. So it's pretty bad. All right. So uh, I'm just and he does not have any immunity to all status resistance. So this is like very very weak. Also, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know if I'll be using him or not. But if I don't have cloud, I'll certainly use him. But I have cloud right at the moment. So, all right. So uh, we, I'm just gonna go back to the game, and to test Kevin's po full full power, right? Because his his full power lies in his counter attacking ability. So he has to get hit first before that ability activates. So yeah. So we gotta fight a boss, which is a Stone Deer trial. So this is a long fight, right? So this is the most suitable. For to test his true power, and um, yeah, in a, in a short fight he also deals pretty good damage, but probably a little bit less than Cloud, but it's it's cool, it's really cool. Yeah, I'm just gonna fill this with the uh, energy bottle, and yeah, I'm just gonna do this trial again, and I'm probably gonna choose Onion Knight this time. Yeah, with the best attack power, of course. Probably this guy. This guy has beast. So, yeah, his uh, Stone Deer is a beast, and also he's at the same time a what's that? A stone. So, so he is like 50-50, you know. So, yep, it's best to equip both uh, with Stone Killer and also Beast Killer. So that's why we use uh, Ifrit and. Also, I want to talk about Kevin's negative. Um, his, he relies heavily on 5-star equipments, such as Cloud. So, this right here, this is a double hand which Cloud has, which increase attack by 100% when you're, when you're double hand. So, when you keep only one weapon in one, one, one feast, right? So, you, you need two of Cloud's TM in order to reach the damage cap of double hand, which is 300%. And you also need two Alfred's TM in order to reach that, you know, that limit. Because uh, Alfred's TMR gives 50%. So just now Clouds gives 100%, right? So 100% times 2 is equal to 200%. And then Alfred's TMR will also give you 50%, which is also multiplied by 2, 100%. So in total, 200%, right? 2, 1, 2, right? 1, 2. It's equals to 200%, then 50, 50, 200%. 200% double hand damage. It's capped. So without this TMR, I think he will do subpar damage. Probably with, probably with double hand, he will be okay. So he's, uh, yeah. But with this setup, he's, he will be very, very powerful, guys. So I will uh, take Kevin into this trial with the same thing that I, I take uh, with Cloud, and we'll see the difference between him and Cloud. Alright, so uh, he's got pretty weak defense, guys. He's got pretty weak defense. And also, if I remove his fist, he also will get very high attack, which is 822. Which is also his good point for a new for a beginner who doesn't have any equipment, good equipment or weak equipment or no equipment at all. Alright, so uh, without further ado, I'm going to start this.
trial again. All right, let's find out uh, Kevin's capabilities here. Right? Let's find it out. Let's find it out, guys. All right, first, I'm just gonna increase the attack of everyone here. Then I'm gonna debuff Holy. And then I'm going to uh, decrease the defense of the deer. And then possibly uh, increase the uh, limit burst stone that the team can get by using Echo skill right there. And he's weak to win, right? So we're gonna chain win as always. And yeah, he will use the blow impact, which is 490% uh, mod damage, which is pretty weak. Alright, let's go. Alright. Got a chain. Three million damage, kind of low, guys. Cloud can do about five million damage with uh, full full imperial. So I think Cloud is still better, right? Right? I think so. Right. Uh, next, I'm just gonna do. Wait. Let me see what I can I can do here. They're probably just gonna do this uh, lightning damage, and I'm gonna do uh, um, decrease his magical power, and then same chain with win again. Let's go. Pretty a lot of damage, guys. All right, good. This is good. So, uh, Kevin's ability is not activated yet, guys. Kevin's ability is not activated yet. So, I don't know, man. Um, let's see what I'm gonna do here. Um, <laughs> then I'm gonna increase everyone defense, so everyone will take less damage, right? Alright, let's go. Hmm, I'd say, yeah, Cloud is definitely better, guys. Like seriously, Caffeine is like you know you 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 really need to rely on his uh, ability activation in order to get him really high. Like crazy high. Right, I'm gonna do this one. Yeah, his, his ability is not activated yet. So it's, I find it hard to activate his ability. So this is actually pretty bad, right? Pretty bad, I can say. Right, let's go. His limit break though is uh, stronger than Cloud, so it's 880%. Yeah, it's pretty high damage, right? As you can see. It's pretty good, pretty good damage. And it turns into Wolf, so he's a werewolf. Oh, I hope I can activate his ability here. Oh, not yet, not activated yet again. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of hard. I find it kind of hard to uh, activate his ability, which is pretty bad, in my opinion. Hmm. What I'm gonna do here? Probably decrease the lightning resistance again. And then uh, probably gonna decrease his magical attack again. And, um,. Yeah, just gonna keep doing this. All 
All right. Let's go. Yeah, I'll probably break his threshold next. All right. Um, Kevin has activated his ability now. Let's see his true power, guys. Let's see his true power. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Right? Um, just kind of keep continuing the DPS again. Yeah. Then I'm gonna buff this time. So I already uh, got. Uh, so this this is actually the skill that we got from this trial. It increases the defense and the spirit by 100%. Which is in so this is the 40 MP attack. This is the attack that we can use, which is 1037 percent. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. If I can activate this, then it's freaking awesome. All right, let's go. Let's go, guys. Let's see how much damage you do. How much damage this shit? Can't even see the damage. But I bet it's a lot of damage, right? I bet it's a lot of damage. Alright, next turn, I think I'm probably gonna kill him. Like, for sure. For sure, man. So, yeah, uh, we can do this for, like, two turns, guys. Like, two turns. Yeah, probably just gonna kill again. Alright, let's finish this fight with closing. Barry to back, 40 MP attack. Let's see. Let's see what's the damage this time. Let's go. How much damage is that? Can't even see, man. Definitely a lot of damage. Definitely a lot of damage. So yeah, I think, yeah, it 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 it's kind of take takes pretty long to activate his best ability, one thousand thirty seven percent. Yeah, but he's got good damage, man. I think we did it in about seven turns or maybe seven turns, right? And without much difficulty at chaining at all because uh, he's easy to chain with. So yeah, I think that's about it about Kevin. That's his maximum potential, and his. His limit break is also easily filled, so that's one also one another positive advantage. And uh, I'll see you guys next video tomorrow. Here will be released uh, a new, I mean a free five star character. All right, I'll see you guys. Peace out.